Manchester City are again at the center of controversy over allegations that the club bent financial fair play rules. As part of the latest batch of football leaks, City were alleged to have duped UEFA in their efforts to find a way around the rules. Reports published by German outlet Der Spiegel claimed last month that City had overvalued sponsorship deals in an attempt to avoid the restrictions. It was also claimed that City, along with Paris Saint-Germain, had negotiated their own punishment for contravening rules relating to financial fair play in 2014 to avoid a potential Champions League ban. The governing body had already confirmed that the investigation into City could be reopened if new information came to their attention and yesterday it was suggested that a Champions League ban could be handed out to Pep Guardiola's side. We've looked at the key questions surrounding the issue, could City be banned from Europe? It appears to be a possibility. The key element here is that City have already been punished for alleged financial fair play FFP, breaches when they were fined in 2014. If UEFA decide to take action against the club, then they may consider that the fine had no impact and instead impose what is termed a sporting sanction. It could be a points deduction or transfer ban, but there is precedent for clubs being excluded from European competition after an FFP charge, with Russian side Ruben Kazan the latest to be hit with such a punishment in October, banning them from European football if they qualify in the next two seasons. How soon could a ban take place? UEFA asked for an independent investigation to take place after the Der Spiegel Football Leaks reports. On Monday Alexander Seferin, the UEFA president, said, we are assessing the situation. Very soon we will have the answers on what will happen in this concrete case. That sounds like an outcome could be imminent, which may see any punishment enforced for next season. Could they be stripped of the Champions League title if they were to win it this year? No club has ever been punished in such a way before, and the investigation doesn't relate to a breach this season, so it would seem very unlikely. What are they alleged to have done? There were a raft of allegations in the Der Spiegel stories, including a payment to Roberto Mancini, then city boss, of one pound. 75 million for consultancy work made from a club in Abu Dhabi owned by city's owner Sheikh Mansur bin Zayed. In the Football League's documents it was also alleged that city's holding company paid £59. Five million of this deal, with the airline itself only paying £8 million. Haven't they already been punished for that? In 2014 City were fined and given a reduced squad allocation by UEFA for failing to meet the FFP requirements, but UEFA may consider any new evidence. What sanctions are available to UEFA? Clubs have been handed various punishments in the past, from fines to having their squad for European competitions reduced from a maximum of 25 players to restrictions on transfer and salary spending and then a ban from European competition. What are UEFA saying? The only official word from UEFA is the quotes from Seferin on Monday when he said, we are assessing the situation. Very soon we will have the answers on what will happen in this concrete case. What are City saying? City have kept their counsel throughout the Der Spiegel Football League's revelations. They released a statement early on which they have stuck to, which said, we will not be providing any comment on out-of-context materials purported to have been hacked or stolen from City Football Group and Manchester City personnel and associated people. The attempt to damage the club's reputation is organized and clear. Has any other team been banned? Yes, teams have been banned previously.
The most high profile was AC Milan, who were issued a ban in 2017 for this year, but in July 2018, that ban was overturned on appeal at the Court of Arbitration for Sport. As mentioned above Ruben Kazan are the latest team to be banned, while Malaga, Dynamo Moscow and Galatasaray have also been banned in the past. When will UEFA decide? There is no deadline on when UEFA will decide, but Sefran said the governing body would have the answers very soon. That is likely to only be the initial report, though which could see City charged. Then the club will be given the chance to get their case together. What's the likely outcome? UEFA are under pressure to prove their FFP regulations work and having already punished City once they might want to inflict a stronger punishment on the club if charges are bought and they are found guilty. But banning a side of City's stature, managed by Pep Guardiola, from European competition would be a huge step to make. It's a punishment City would be unlikely to take lying down and could well lead to a legal challenge against the FFP regulations. What happens next? At the moment it's a waiting game to see what UEFA do. If charges are brought then City will have the chance to put their case together and fight them. Is any other club under investigation? Paris Saint-Germain were also implicated by the Der Spiegel Football League's reports, but it's unknown if they are being investigated at this time. Why is it always City? A lot of clubs in Europe have fallen foul of FFP, but City and PSG are by far the biggest. City reluctantly accepted the fine in 2014 and would have hoped that was the end of their dealings with UEFA over the issue, but the Football League's allegations have opened a potential can of worms.